Hello everyone, how are you today? So today's tutorial is all about the bow lip. So I already filmed this once and I only filmed this part of my face so now I have to take all my makeup off and do it again. But I really hope you like it. So if you want to know how to get it done, please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is apply moisturizer. You can apply the ones that you have in your house or whatever. I have this one that is from Beachy. You apply the one that works for you. If you wanna, if you're going to use this makeup during the day, make sure it has an FPF so you won't get wrinkled. I'm going to use a little bit of foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 225 medium buff. I'm applying a small amount just to make sure that everything looks even. I'm using a duo fiber brush and this one doesn't have a number or anything, it's from the pharmacy. So use the one that you have in your house and that you can use for foundation. Now you want to apply concealer under your eyes to cover some dark circles and just to bring a little bit of brightness into the face. I'm also using the Maybelline Fit Me and this is in the color 10 light. I'm applying this one under my eyes, here, and then on the other eye of course. And I'm applying a little bit on my lid and this will help the shadow that I will apply later on to stick to it so it will look better. And I do like to blend this concealer with my fingers. Now I'm also going to apply a bit of concealer in the bridge of my nose and here. We want to apply this powder so the, the concealer doesn't move. So we are going to apply a little bit under the eyes, on the eyelids, on the forehead and a little bit on the nose. As you can see, I'm applying it really lightly. So now we are going to go to the eyes. My friends told me that my last tutorial, it was kind of fast, so now I'm going to try to explain a little bit more what you have to do so you can recreate it, no problem. I'm going to take this color. You want to apply here and then pull forward. You have to let the brush do all the work. We're going to take the brown and we're going to take it with a flat brush, either something like this this one is from Claire's, I think it's really cheap. Any flat brush, you want to apply the color just on the outer edge, here, like this. So here and just pull a bit inwards. You want to take the same brush that you were using before and just put here and blend. We are going to line the top lash line. So just three quarters of the way, really roughly, you don't need to make be perfect with this. Now we are going to take this accent brush and we are going to blend that. Now we are going to take the same brush that we used before and we are going to blend again. bronzer. This one is the Nars Laguna bronzer and I'm going to apply on my cheekbones and a bit on my forehead. Take it slow, you can always build it up. Ah, yeah, and this is the, this brush I'm using is the Sculpt brush, also from Real Techniques. 
you are so soft. Then I'm going to take some blush. This one is Peaches from MAC. You have to be careful with MAC brushes because they are so pigmented that you may just end up with the rosiest cheeks you have ever seen. So you have to be really careful because you don't want to look like a clown. So now we are going to go with the lipstick. It's all about the lipstick. This is the color. It's a really pretty one. It's a orangey red. So that's the lipstick. What do you think? This one is called Lady Danger and it's from MAC and it's a matte finish but you know I have the Ruby Woo from MAC that is also a matte finish and that one is so so dry but this one is really creamy it's really nice now the final touch what we are going to do is we are going to apply some highlight this one I'm going to use is also from MAC and it's called Nylon you can use any highlight that you have. I'm going to take the highlight and I'm going to apply it here, in the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to spray the brush with some water. This one is uh, spring water from Aven. But you know, you can use either Smashbox, Mark, whatever. And if you don't have any of those, you can dip your brush into water and then apply the shadow. And that makes the same effects, basically. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to highlight a bit my cheekbones and a little bit my nose, just because I feel like it. So I'm going to go with the same shadow using a fluffy brush. This one I think it was from Claire's or something like that. I almost forgot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the same color that I did before. This one is Omega by MAC. And I'm going to apply it on my brows. I don't like really strong brows, really, really defined brows, because that's not what I'm used to. But if that's what you like, you can go for it. You can use a pencil, whatever you feel like. And I just feel a little bit where, where I feel that my brow needs a little help. And just, you know, mostly I use it to give it a little shape, but, you know, I don't like to go overboard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of this spring water to set the makeup and also to make the foundation, the concealer, powder and everything that you have on your face blend to your skin so as this hydrates it makes everything looks more natural let's go for it and wait a minute you need to wait Bye!